So I I want to say that I was um, pretty confident in my skate. So I'm 30 years old now, and I was pretty confident in my skating like at 23. Yeah. I was like skating very, very well, and I could send you guys some clips later on maybe so you could see like at what level I was skating at at that age. And then um, I got laid off from my job at the time, and I'm like, fuck it, I got to go to school, you know, like I got to make some money, like I got to figure something out, you know, like um, so... I kind of just stopped skating and like you fall off, you know, I gained, I gained some weight in school, which is normal. Like, you know, you, I'm still, I still have the same eating habits that I did when I was skating. Like I'm still eating the same amount of calories. Like, you know, you're going to gain some weight, which is fine. Mm -hmm. So once I finished my bachelor's degree, I started working and then I thought I was just going to quit skating. I'm like, whatever, like, I'm not going to have anybody to skate with in Illinois, like, you know, like Rockford, Illinois. So I move over there and then, um, two years after living there. Uh, so I've been living there four and a half years now. So two and a half years ago, um, I was like in a master's program. I did about a year into it. And then like, I was just stressed out. Like I was like failing my, this one class. And it was a, a it was a master's in science of electrical engineering, um, power and electromagnetic to be specific. Um, and it was like, I was just stressed out. And I'm like, fuck this. I just want to skate. So then... I dropped my class like in October and then Blading Cup of 2019 was coming up and I'm like, fuck that. I'm just going to get workout, get fit for Blading Cup and try to perform well. And I got second place in the open and it's like, oh shit, like this kind of cool. And then 50-50 started hooking it up, you know, and like then Conjure started hooking it up. So it's like, so it's like two and a half years ago, I decided to just be like, hey, I don't want to do my master's. This is kind of stressing me out right now. I want to see what it's like to push myself in skating i want to see if if i can make it you know like whatever that means in skating you know that that means something different to everyone and that's fine um but to me i guess it just meant competing at a professional level being able to compete with the people that i've looked up to my whole lives in skating and i was like holy shit i could do this like and i feel like a lot of people could do that as well you know like you could just be like hey i'm just gonna push myself in skating and skate at this level like that's yeah, there's a lot of efforts that I've made throughout the past two and a half years that got me where I am now. But I think that um, a lot of people could achieve the same goal because I don't necessarily think that I'm talented at skating. I just happen to skate, you know. And the way that I'm skating now, I've been skating the same exact way since I was like 16, 17, except my style is a little bit more defined now. You know, my aesthetic and skating, but I've been able to do these same tricks since I was that young. And it was hard to kind of get myself out there and get myself some exposure because social media wasn't a big thing back then. Right. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the shift. I was just kind of like, I wouldn't may, maybe like some sort of depression, you know, like just kind of like unhappy with with just like taking this route of like, oh, just like working on my career, which is fine. I love my career. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like there's a time and place for everything. And I'll definitely go back to my master's program and complete it. But right now i want to take advantage of my body and just take advantage of the changes that i've made in my life and just continue skating maybe for the next three four years and then maybe start focusing on my career again you know maybe start skating with a helmet like i you know like there's Mm. like i I don't think that i'm gonna skate without a helmet my whole life it's i think that one day i'm just gonna wake up and be like why not why am i not putting on a helmet to go skate you know like yeah. i'm risking my career everything i've studied for or whatever you know but no, right absolutely. now right now i don't feel comfortable skating with a helmet. skate park sometimes i do it because i never grew up skating skate parks mm-hmm. and i'm scared of ramps <laughs> so, yeah. and i know what you mean i like yeah. i definitely like consider that all the time like a helmet. U- using a helmet is super important and yeah. definitely like you see someone you should always encourage them to do it but i know what you mean sometimes it could feel uncomfortable oh yeah looking fakie with a helmet on is just like why is yeah, my peripheral was, different yeah. like we need like, some better <laughs> designed helmets. Yeah, and and I like that full like bucket looking helmet. Yeah, I look you like rock a, that. Right. I look like a with stunt man. Like, I look, yeah. like, with the glittery Evil Knievel. Yeah, yeah, it's Evil like Evil Knievel. Yo, it's yeah. like, yo, I don't know what he's gonna do, but he's gonna do something. <laughs> he's, gonna do something. <laughs> he's wearing that helmet. He's gonna, like, he's gonna do a fish <laughs> pin or get shot out of a cannon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or both. Yeah. All I know is he's ready for action. Yeah. That's all yeah. I know. Uh, man, I wish I would have brought it with me. I would have just pulled it out, put it on, like a prop, you know. We could have done it for round two, the part two of the end. Yeah, yeah. Just bust out helmets and glasses i don't know <laughs> yeah but um yeah it's kind of the shift just like i was like fuck man i've been skating more than half of my life like why am i not putting in the effort that makes me happy you know or that i think will make me happy you know 
I think that effort changes every time. You know, it's like I get to this point, it's like, oh no, this point makes me happy. I get to this point, it's, oh, yeah. this point makes me happy. It's a dangerous game to play, but um, I'm definitely proud of myself. I want to say, like, to some extent, I feel like I could do a little bit more, and I'm there's still a lot left in me. And one of the things that I really just want to do is like, um, and I've done this my whole life, is continue to push younger skaters like Lewis. You know, like. Lewis was like 13 when he started skating with me. Mm -hmm. I was like 18, 19. I was young too, you know, like we're learning from each other, you know, like mm -hmm. we're kids, you know, 18 year old, 19 was still, I'm still a kid, you know, yeah, like I don't kid. know anything about the world. Yeah. And like being able to do that. And I used to get made fun of for, for that. Like, oh, there comes Yandy Yandrell with, you know, a bunch of little kids in his car. And it's like, fuck you, dude. Like I'm trying to push the younger generation, you know, like yeah. these right. like white dudes from like you know <laughs> further northern florida is just like you you don't understand you know yeah, like yeah like you know like you really don't understand what it's like to see like a young hispanic kid like picking up skates you know and like you know yeah. like you feel connection right away there's yeah. culture there you know and totally. it's like i understand that you don't understand but don't fucking mock it you know yeah, exactly yeah and whoever it is that did that knows who they are you know yeah, like I mean, like so yeah let it be known yeah no and, and that's yeah mm -hmm. and that's that's extremely <laughs> rude to do you know and like yeah and just kind of fucking weird like why yeah. why would your mind be at that thinking you know at that level yeah, thinking no, you know it's exactly. just like other than like yo he's bringing around little kids to teach you how to skate that's fucking yeah, sick you know course. like yeah yeah and it was like lewis Edgar, this other kid named Junior, and like just random like 15 year old, 16 year old, you know, like they would pick up skating, would skate with me for like, you know, eight months, like whatever, they'd quit, but whatever. Edgar still skates in Miami. And Lewis, fucking yeah, dude, I, Lewis he's like it. my pride and joy right now. You know, like, <laughs> like I see Lewis and I'm like, damn, dude, he fucking did it. You know, yeah, like, was, like was, yeah. I see him and it's like, I'm happy, you know, like, uh, yeah. but yeah, I'd, I'd like to continue doing some of that, you know, just motivating right now. Um, Last younger skater I've been skating with, Eros, he's 21 years old, S Slovakian kid. He's living out of Chicago for like eight months. He went back to Slovakia like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And um, he's, he's thinking of coming back. And uh, I'd love to continue skating with him and just like, like grow with him, you know, as a skater. Because I learned from him as well as he learns from me. And, you know, and like my buddy Cedric, he's like a little older than me, but like I've been skating with him. He's like my best friend in the Midwest. And like my buddy Jared, another one of my close friends. Yeah, but... Yeah, just continue pushing younger skaters and just pushing myself to, I guess, a level that I never thought that I could achieve in skating. That's, that's kind of what I'd like to continue to do with it.